Okay, this is a yard works. Briggs and Stratton 675 EX. I think it's a 21 inch. We'll see. Oops. And uh, all I did was I took the air filter off right there and I squirted a little bit of gas into the uh, carburetor and it fired right up. Uh, it's got a half a tank of gas in it and uh, let's just check the oil. Now it's got enough for us to keep going, right? These do use a little more oil than the uh, than the old Quantums back over here. You can go between changes without adding oil on one of those. For those of you that change oil. So anyway, I'm just going to pull on this one now for your fun and entertainment. There we go. That's about right, eh? Okay? It might start. I don't know. automatic choke problem. Okay, there's, there's two visible screws to hold the top shroud on. Good. Right. I know there's a trick to this front and I, I can't remember what it is. There we go. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. Good. Okay, I think that just pushes back. There we go. No problem. That's what I like about these flashlights. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to check and see if I can get this choke operating properly. I'll be right back. All right, I'm taking the four screws off to get the carburetor cover off. I got these two are seven mil and these two are eight mil. Floor! Got it! I'm learning to look down as soon as I drop something. Okay, now let's be careful. Good. Okay, now I can check and see if that chunk's closing and opening or what. Ah. See, it's, see now it's closing sort of voluntarily now. Right there. Even just making it go a few times is doing it. So what happens is that the wind opens it and then the bimetal strip keeps it open. It's kind of a silly deal. Silicone spray. Uh, 
it's ugly when you put it on, right? But it uh, really does lubricate well. Look at that. I'm going to just clean that spring up at the back. Now, oh, look at that. It's just catching at the end there. But I think it's catching on the wall. Yep. That's it. That's what I call a Donnie Boy 73 fix. And thank you, Don, for all you've taught me. All right, I'm going to pop this thing back together. So all I got to do, all I got to do is And I was a smart guy. Last fall I ordered up a bunch of uh, air filters for this guy. So let's just put this onto here. And then we uh, straighten that. One, and there's two. Hey, 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 Ralphie boy! This one's an eight. And this one's a seven. We're still recording? Yes! I'm not gonna. drive handle just so I don't wreck this thing. Wrong screw, that's the seven. Here's the eight. going to get a little handle and a happy little handle there. Oh, down here. <laughs> Original one to the eights. Perfect. Now we'll see if we have a oh. I've seen this before. Gotta do an adjustment. So you need clearance. Okay, I want to just get my flashlight and show you what I did. 
as you see right right there and there's our choke right there and it's supposed to flip back like that and it was sticking against this right sticking there the second one right there good should be able to start it so now it should start let's lower down the camera to the height of what the lawnmower is going to be oh sorry guys If it starts, we'll finish it tomorrow. It was the, it was the uh, dirty, sticky, automatic choke hinge. So this is the uh, little yard works with the Briggs and Stratton EX motor on it, and uh, the choke is closed now. Watch this. Get that oil out of there while it's hot. Yes, I should have an air lift, air assist, but you know, you know, not too many mowers in a week, so it's really not worth it. Well, that was quick, eh? Okay, now let's get our little block to lift it up like we did with the gas, but now on the other side. Listen to that, eh? That's kind of cool. Be so careful when you tilt these because you burn yourself on the muffler, right? Oh, there's some more. Okay, now I'm t uh, pooling around now. I'm going to get the other tube and we're going to see if there's any oil left in there. Good. Okay. Let's pump it up a little bit. Nope, down. Out. There. Let's see if we can get some, some more oil out of there. Oh yeah. Now we'll only we'll know now when I add uh, 500 milliliters, which is half a liter. Very close to half of a quart, too, if you're in the States. Okay. Let's just get this out of the way so I don't knock it over. Just to keep that chunk of dirt out of there that could be in there. Mm -hmm. Bottle of the best. Half a bottle, sorry. I opened up the big door. Okay, let's see if uh, half a liter will do it. There. Let's do it. I always check it twice just because. Your engine will run without a lot of things, but it's got to have oil. Yeah, it's just a sixteenth of an inch above the uh, above the full. Sorry. All right. 
I'm just gonna, no, I don't have to check and see if it's going to start. Thank you. Hello there. I just gave uh, Mr. Yardworks a nice bath. He needed it. Took the bag off too, and I washed the underneath. Got the broccoli out from underneath it while I was there. The other two, I'm I'm going to I'm going to power wash two more while I got the pressure washer fired up. Might as well, right? I can leave that now. A couple spots won't hurt. I do that when I make sounds. Then the little kids that visit, they go home and they go, Mom says to them, Where'd you learn that? Uncle Bruce! So there we go. I'll be back in a bit. It'll be an hour for me. It'll be two seconds for you. We're back. It's the next day. Uh, I want to just see if this thing starts. It should. I changed the oil, so it should be good there. Let's just do a little run through it. Yeah, just a sixteenth of an inch high, that's great. A millimeter. And how about the gas? Yes, we have gas. We don't smell any gas. Let's just see if it starts up for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, uh, excuse me, I'm going to get a plant for the brake. Now I'm going to pump it up. We're going to see if that's a 9 16th or a 5 8 bolt on there. Might be 5 8 Nice. You know there aren't that many hours on this machine. Okay, so let's just have a look at the blade. It's fair. Yep, so I'm going to set my uh, bench grinder up outside and we'll make some mess out there. Alright, we're going to sharpen this blade. But first I'm going to clean it. On this side with the wire brush. Okay, there it, whoop, there it is, and I just blunted it a little bit. There's a couple of nicks, but you don't want to take off that much of the blade just for a nick. All right, Jim.
Okay, now we should have some light. Oh. Excuse me. Nice sharp blade. You saw that already. Oops. Do, 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 do. Turn it in as far as I can. long ratchet, I should be able to just get a huh, small turn on. Yeah, just a little bit. That should be it. So the only thing I gotta do now for this mower is to fix these clamps here on the handlebar and then these guys down here are loose so I I went past the yes yeah, so it's still it's still loose eh? I don't know if he's used different bolts or pretty long Papasan. Oh, I'm just hitting the uh, Loctite is all. Somebody Loctited these on. Can you believe that, eh? So that's what I'm hitting on the threads is the blue Loctite. Hmm. Well, we'll do this the old-fashioned way. That's just the, the Loctite, eh? Good. How is this one? It's a little dumb. It's the same, eh? carriage bolts through the handle and then on the other side you can see there's a bolt there and they're both loose and I don't like that he's a big guy so we're going to raise this up I like, I like carriage bolts Is it the square that's rounding off, or is the square... Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, the square's on this side, that's why. And they're a special uh, nylon nut. And I'm going to use a... Because uh, I can't get this in there, right? I'm going to use a ratchet wrench. Tight. 
Probably because the threads are half ratched from being backwards, right? I think that's going to work. One more. I think he wants the slack up there. Mm -hmm. Let's do the same thing with the other side. So now you guys are going to say, if you own these, you don't like, a lot of guys don't like these because they're not offset. But if you're tightening up, if you see the uh, angle of the offset, that's to, that's to the tighten side. See? And if you turn it, then that's the tightening the other way, this way. That's all. So I like them because they, for snowblowers, they get into the little uh, tiny cracks and crevasses. I think this is the last function I have to do on this mower. I am going to take that out of the app if I can. Almost, eh? I could slip a lock washer in there. Yeah, that's good. What's left? Oh, the air filter. Which we have. Here, let's just give you a ride. Get me a ticket to ride. Thomas, you're watching, I know it. Give me a ticket to ride, give me a ticket to ride. If I get it wrong, that's good for me. If I get it wrong, that's good for me. Nobody's gonna put a tax on me. Voila! Oh, let's put a little bit of tape on this. Oh, uh, who's it? Right about there, eh? Yeah, I think so. I hope he's not... <laughs> I hope he's not transporting this thing with a SUV because he'll never get those bolts on... Uh, so that's good, and now we're just going to do a little Bruce thing. Sometimes I use tie wrap, sometimes I use tape. So that'll be it, you guys. There, we got light. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you on the next one, and don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell, and enjoy. Thanks a lot.